Bonsoir. Mission. Bonsoir. So, it's a love affair between you, but because of your love affair, you created a food affair. Correct. She's a catering company that you've yes. had for a long time, and you've got, we can't tell who are your friends, but uh, you told me in private, and trust me, they're upscale. They also call me in a restaurant now. Absolutely. The same name. The same, same name. name. Uh, on Robertson, South of Pico. Correct. Casual French bistro, right? Authentic. But you've been in LA for so long that you, you know how to adapt to California habits, right? Yes. I want to make sure that the people here, you know, in Los Angeles, they have a little piece of France here to be authentic, but having, you know, the fun of American people because they really know how to dine. They really have fun when they go out. And this is the touch I think we're going to put at the restaurant to make sure they really have a good time, good food, and not always be very expensive. Yeah, good food, casual, um, you know, French bistro food, the one that you you know you can come back two or three times a week if you don't want to cook, or you can come back often, you don't get intimidated by the food. But everything's homemade. Yes, it is. Everything's homemade. Even, okay. Even what you call the blackberry ketchup, right? Even the blackberry ketchup, Well, yes. well there's no, yeah. yeah. It yeah. is. It, it is all. Which you use for the for the, the coffee? Yes, it is. I think it's it's it really touch like that's what I want to say again. It's like uh, to to be on um, you know an American side. I really want to show that French American. I think you know, more American than French now that you're living here. But so that's why I kind of create a little ketchup on the top of the coffee. So you are very good using the French accent. Exactly. Voila. Yeah. Voila. Yeah. <laughs> so every, yeah, that, that's that's great. Too. There's a. Uh, your uh, French restaurant in LA, so this is we happy to welcome you on the food scene. So now we're gonna we're gonna uh, watch Merci. a few photos of what we have for dinner, and after that we're gonna watch you cook. And then at the end we're gonna I think there's a recipe that you love to do here. We're gonna discover what it is, and we'll watch you make it in front of us. Oh, okay, yeah. Thank do you. that for you. Thank you. Merci. Merci, Sophie. This is the white mushroom tart and it's with a goat cheese and we're gonna serve that with a creme fraiche and we're doing creme fraiche and we mix that with uh, white truffle oil. But, uh, so with the little tart what are we uh... we're serving on the side like it's a wild uh, aragula salad and we have uh, with a little persimmon and a little pomegranate from the season so we try to use the seasoned uh, vegetable and food from the market uh, and we love to use uh, the farmer's market as, as a referral for so now, anything now the we final do. Touch, right? So we do like the final touch with the white truffle on just on top. So the white truffle oil. The white truffle yeah. oil. And then this is what I think it does like a really nice little touch on it. Well that's what the oil was it final touch. This is not the This is the creme fraiche. The creme fraiche is the final touch. We need the creme fraiche on it. It just makes like the difference. In bon appetit. So tell me, tell me what you could preparing for us now. So what we're doing right now, it's uh, Brussels sprout, and we have a uh, pancetta and caramelized onion, caramelized garlic, and macadamia nuts, and it's gonna be as a macadamia tapas. nuts with uh... with the Brussels sprout. Yeah, so, never had that. You know, that's like uh, I think a nice combination, and it's uh, make a nice little hors d'oeuvre, so it can be just. Uh, oh, just one dish. Just one dish. Just one dish. So this is like as a tapas. We're having a medallion of salmon, and it's uh, with uh, paprika, smoked paprika butter, and it's just roasted, kind of crispy on the outside, kind of moist inside, and then it's topped with um, fresh butter again, and we have a spiders, and it's coming with a, a little corn creme brulee. Corn creme brulee, well here it is. And we have the corn creme brulee just come on the side. It's delicious. So one thing we need to know too, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Marseille. So what do they do in Marseille? What do they do in Marseille? They well, they play pétanque, that we know. You know, so they do the, the, the bouillabaisse. So what is the bouillabaisse? Okay, the bouillabaisse is the soup de poisson, what we call it. It's a mixture of different fish, and it has like a little yoli test behind. So it's, uh, 
in the south of California, we try to bring from the south of France, we try to bring that dish. We, we try to have the flavor. So we're using um, the base for the soup that we use is based with lobster. And we you have- You make it all, you make it all, of course. Do right. And then, so it, this is the base we're doing in events. So at least when the customer coming at a restaurant, they can see exactly, you know, and having the test of the bouillabaisse. So the base that I use uh, to do this uh, bouillabaisse is like, first we have like tomatoes. Tomatoes is good. So it's good. Garlic of course. I make olive oil. That's the main ingredient. Garlic that. And then we have like a, a, a special spice. And we're okay, gonna so hide we, it. we don't know what we. We don't know. This is a special, special spice. So we don't say what it is. Okay. We don't say what it is. Secret spice. We're we're keeping, the, we're keeping the secret for that. And then we're just adding all the magic fish. So, so which we do have salmon, shrimp, 1620 is the size, which is a nice size, I think, when you do the other so we, we can really uh, have the taste of the mussel and, and, and the shrimp when you have. So where are those mussel from? And the mussel, the Mediterranean mussel. So that was the Mediterranean Sea. Yes, they are, you know, and then so we received it from a fish company uh, in the morning and then very picky on that to have like a nice and very meaty uh, mussel. I think it's important, uh, which is very hard to find on, on the black mussel. Uh, and I think the Mediterranean mussel um, are very, are very meaty. So we're adding a little bit of parsley in it. And then we can add, we can add, we have to add the white wine to have all the flavor come out with the garlic and the parsley and all of the seafood is going to mix all together so that's what you're going to have. I always had a couple of gloves of garlic as well. well. Full, full, full size well, right? I'm sorry? Full size, are you, you cutting pieces of garlic? Yes, we did. Yeah. yeah, and then we're putting a full size as well so that really gives a little flavor that we need. We're just having for a few minutes. And then we're going to cover with the the soup de poisson. The one you made with lobster? This is the one with the base with lobster to have the yoli test from the Mediterranean. And then we'll add it. We'll add it. Boil for a little bit. And in a few minutes it will be ready, right? And in a few minutes we're gonna enjoy that and we're gonna have some uh, crouton and then we're gonna have some um, rouille on the side, which is a rouille. It's kind of like garlicky uh, and has also, we're putting ocean in it. So ocean, it's kind of like mayonnaise, I'm gonna say that to, to understand exactly what it is. And it's mixed also with some uh, paprika. So this is the, the dish that it's uh, served at the Philippe. Well, thank very, you. Very, very popular. Thanks <laughs> for showing us the, the way you make it. Thank you so much. So you're telling me thank you, but I think you forgot something to put in the bouillabaisse, right? But of course, I always keep the secret for the end, you know that. So we have the Perno, you know, so... Perno Ricard, right? Perno Ricard, yeah. so this is, we're just pushing a little... There yeah, are no Perno in the bouillabaisse, no uh, bouillabaisse, right? It's know, not, it shouldn't be called bouillabaisse if there's no Perno. This little anise to just bring the secret of the bouillabaisse. Now we can say thank you. Now we can say thank you. <laughs> That's the house finished touch, right? This is the uh, chocolate with uh, hazelnut and uh, Nutella. 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 And the, we're gonna top that. The chocolate you mean it's souffle, right? Souffle. Yeah. This is the souffle, so, so we just need a little bit more push and we're there. We'll so. wait. We'll, we'll wait and watch it rise. So a few minutes later, let's let's check if it rise. So the souffle is ready. Oh, now oh, it's up. Now it's ready oh. to go. So now it's ready, and then now we're gonna put uh, whipping cream, powdered sugar, and a little bit more Nutella. A little bit more Nutella? And voila! You are gourmand, as they say en français. Voila, très gourmand. <laughs> the powdered sugar on the top, and then we're gonna cover that with a little bit more. What are you putting on top of this? We're gonna put a caramel. Oh, look at that. And then for the last touch, The Nutella.
and it's salmon. So it's Nutella, Nutella, right? Nutella, Nutella, and it's Nutella inside the souffle as well. I know, so, so I'm saying Nutella, Nutella. So yeah. the souffle, it's really got the flavor. Et voilà, bon appétit. <laughs>